got the case of mommy guilt, you're not alone. If your feelings are overwhelming you, try these tactics to help get your guilt under control. Hi YouTube, it's Ebony. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about entrepreneurship, we talk about personal growth, we talk about uh, creating a healthy mindset, and so much more. So before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. Guilt becomes a problem. However, when you spend so much time just focusing on the small stuff, it can contribute to losing perspective on the bigger picture. And this can lead to dangerous and unhealthy behavior, even leading up to depression. If the feelings of guilt seem to be taking over or you're starting to resent your kids, it's time to take action. All right, so let's start with the first action step. The first step would be to help yourself. So flight attendants deliver the best parenting advice when they tell you to make sure that you secure your mask first before you assist your kids. If you don't have any air and you can't breathe, how are you helping anyone else? So give yourself a little air. Go get a manicure, a pedicure, go see a movie, have a girls night once a month. Keep in mind that loving yourself is one of the best ways to love your children. Your next action step to take would be share your responsibilities. You can ask your partner to help out a little more around the house so you can have more me time. If you're single, you can seek out network of mothers who also are on their own as well. You can just get that empathetic cup of coffee or just that chat that you need while your children play. Downtime and friendship are both very beneficial for your mental health. All right, mommies, we got this. Let's keep going. Let's take another action step. Forgive yourself. Letting go of guilt has to start with you making a commitment to yourself to let go of beating yourself up because of your choices and the circumstances that you've made. Guilt going a wire turns into shame and it's emotionally just draining to constantly just feel like you're a bad mom or a bad friend. And it can be emotionally painful and definitely overwhelming. Could be times where you work full time, not in the home, where you have to drop your children off and they're crying for you and you don't see them all day and they're just spending time with their, their teachers and things like that at daycare all day. Or even if you work from home like you still have to work and you may not be able to give your children the attention that they may need a few examples of some of my mommy guilt i have two children i have a teenager and also have a toddler for my toddler um i have shared custody with her father so there's times where because i work from home and she's um, at home with me because of the pandemic of course and there's times where it's like my last day before she goes with her father and I have to work. So I'm not able to fully spend time with her. And then by the time I get off of work, it's time for her to go. So that's times where I feel very guilty because I feel like I didn't even spend time with my baby and she's in the same home as me. Another instance, when I first got separated, I had to, of course, take over the responsibilities of everything. So I had to go out and get two jobs. I had a full-time job at the time, but then I had to also go out and get a part-time. So I would get off my full-time job. I would literally have 20 minutes. And that was just to try to eat something as I was getting dressed. And I would have to drop my, my kids off before I went to my next job. And then by the time I got off of that job, it's about 10 o'clock at night. So my kids are either sleeping or it's literally time for bed. So I went months without getting to spend any time with my children. The amount of guilt, I, I can't even express to you what I felt at that time. It was just, I felt like, like just, it was never gonna end. I felt like this was my life. You know, when you're in it, it's like you just feel like you're never gonna get out of it. And it has to be the worst time ever in your life because you're not able to spend that time with your kids. This can be another mom guilt for a lot of moms. Uh, we all have jobs. We have a lot of things going on that we deal with during the week. Then when it comes to the weekend, this is the time that we have to spend with the, our kids that we so wanted to spend our time with and that we felt guilty for not spending time with. But when it comes to the weekend, 
all you want to do is just catch up on rest that you haven't gotten all week and you the last thing that you're worried about is going on a play date or just going outside of the house for that matter and that's guilt right there it's like i should be up and ready to go and spend all this time that i get, didn't get to spend with my children however it's reality you're only one person you're going to be tired it's like we really don't have the time for everything that we want to have time for so it's definitely understandable the guilt is 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 definitely is real <laughs> I do believe if you just take some time out, just a little time, if you take just a little time out to remember your choices and to remember why you're doing it, I think that could be extremely helpful. As I stated before, we're only one person. However, I do feel that we do have the time to make sure that we try to fit as much as we can in without feeling that mommy guilt. Kids are so simple. They just want your, your time and your attention. So even if it's for a few hours, it's all about balance. So every time you think to yourself, I feel bad about whatever it is that you feel bad about, replace it with, I made this decision because whatever your decision is, and then you move forward with it. That's a way that you can alleviate this guilt. We all have to, a job to do. We're all doing this, majority of us are doing this for our children. So for the fact that we feel guilty at times, we have to go back in and bring it all back in and we have to remember that we're doing it for them. This is all for them. <laughs> this one is a biggie. Don't compare yourself. I also have this issue. I'm working on it. I feel like sometimes social media is is very uh, dangerous sometimes. You see these superwoman moms who are traveling, who are breastfeeding, who are doing all this amazing stuff while being a mom as well. And that's not you. You're not them. Whatever works best for you and your family works best for you and your family. It's so hard not to compare yourself sometimes because you, it, it's like sometimes it's subconscious and sometimes you don't even know that you're, you're like literally comparing yourself to that mom who is just this great superwoman and you're not even realizing how super that you are for the life that you're living specifically. So don't compare yourself. It is definitely a killer. It brings down your self-esteem, your confidence. It has you second-guessing yourself. Be the best mommy that you can be specifically for you and your children and your family only. No, things will not last forever. While you're in it, it feels like it's forever. But just continue to remind yourself while you're in it so that you're not feeling stuck. Just remember, and once again, just continue to remind yourself while you're doing this. Remember that you're doing this for them. And whatever the, the, the situation is that you're currently in will not last forever. This is, life changes quickly. Life changes daily. So the more that you continue to go through like your rough patches and your rough sprouts, just realize that this is not going to be the end. This is not the definition of who you are and the life that you're going to live. This is just your current circumstance and what you have to deal with to get to where you want to be and to live that life that you're actually wanting to provide for your children. So join me in removing the mom guilt like today. It starts today. So the single mom who needs to work two jobs a day, remove that guilt. To the mom who's working late hours, remove that guilt. To the mom even who chooses not to breastfeed, you have to remove that guilt. To the mom who is busting her ass to trying to get her business up and running or to continue to run her business, or to the mother who is trying to move up in her company, remove that guilt. To that stay-at-home mom who just needs a couple minutes of me time, trust me, girl, I know it. Remove that guilt. And if you take anything away from this video, what I want you to take away from is just remember, your kids do and will always love you just for who you are. Anything extra that we give them, we give them because we want to provide that for them. So remember, we're doing this for them, but at the end of the day, they love us for exactly who we are. So just remember that and keep that in mind. Something I do want you all to keep in mind I know that there's mothers who are in their 60s who have 
grown children who still have mom guilt. I think this is something that we never really, it's almost like a, like a characteristic in us. I don't know if we ever really fully get rid of guilt. However, I think if you keep in mind to just remind yourself of why you're doing it, it does help to not be so hard on yourself and during the process. I cannot tell you that this is fully going to be something that just never happens because I live with it not every day, but often. And I do believe that if you follow certain steps, it can just help you to look at it in a different perspective. However, I must be real, it's not going to go away. Us moms, we just take on this nurturing trait that we just love and we love hard but finding the best way to cope with mommy guilt i think it's going to be very beneficial to you i think it's going to help you to get through your days more i think it's going to help your mental health also because you're not just constantly beating yourself up and being hard on yourself because you're not able to do everything that you want to because you're a human and you're one person just provide love just be that strength that backbone that your family needs and find a tribe of moms who are literally in the same boat as you, which is a large tribe. So if you just need that support, definitely find that it's helpful to find people and to have relatable conversations. And it just helps you to get all of that guilt, all that resentment that you may feel, all that negativity from mom guilt off of your chest and just allow you to move forward and just appreciate your life and your children more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, comment below. Until the next time, I will see you on the next video. See you guys.